Investigation of Curves, Section 2, Derivatives of Curves. Video 1, Finding Derivatives with Cas. In this section, we're going to look at how to find derivatives of curves, which help us to know the gradient of the tangent of a curve at a particular point, which allows us to deduce things about the shape of the curve, about when it's got stationary points, when the tangent is horizontal, when the tangent is vertical, and so on. The gradient of the tangent of a curve, then, is given by the derivative dy by dx. If we're working in parametric equations, we need to be able to work out dy by dx from what we know about dy by dt and dx by dt. So we can use this formula here. So dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. And we can use our computer algebra system to work this out for us. We're going to have a go at this and find the derivatives for this set of parametric equations here. x equals 5 cos t minus cos 5t and y equals 5 sine t plus sine 5t. We're going to be returning to this example in a later video to see what we can do with the derivative once we've found it out. But for now, we're just looking at how to find the derivative. Well, before I start finding the derivative, I might want to have an idea of what this equation looks like. So I might plot my parametric equations. So I've got x is 5 cos t minus cos of 5 times t. And then y is 5 sine of t plus sine of 5t. And so that's plotted in my graphics window and I can see what my curve looks like. OK, so if I wanted to start talking about the gradient at different parts of this curve, I need to work out the derivative. So I'm going to go into my CAS window to do that. So I'm going to start by putting in my expressions for x and y. So I've got for x, x was 5 times cos t minus cos of 5t. And y was 5 sine t plus sine of 5t. Now, I want to know dy by dx, but I need to know dy by dt and dx by dt first. So I'm going to work out the derivative of the expression in number one, so dollar one, and I want the derivative with respect to t, so I put comma t like that. And it's differentiated it to give me minus 5 sine t plus 5 sine 5t. Same again for dy by dt, so the derivative of the expression number 2 and with respect to t, so put comma t, and that gives me 5 cos t plus 5 cos 5t. And finally, I want to know dy by dx, which is dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So that is the expression in number 4 divided by the expression in number 3. And so I get an expression for the derivative, which is cos t plus cos 5t over minus sine t plus sine 5t. Now you have to be careful here, it's very easy to actually do dx by dy instead of dy by dx by deriving, dividing these in the wrong order. So just keep check of which way around you're dividing things and make sure that you get it right. OK, let's have a look at how we'll write this up in our solution. So the first thing that I'm going to write down is dx by dt. which my CAS worked out was minus 5 sine t 
plus 5 sine 5t and then dy by dt which my computer algebra system worked out was 5 cos t plus 5 cos 5t and then I would write down dy by dx equals dy by dt over dx by dt equals and then I got cos t plus cos 5t all over minus sine t plus sine 5t. In this video you've learned how to find derivatives using CAS. We're going to come back to this example in the next video to see how you can use those derivatives once you've found them.